Lately, I've been showing you some of the special boot modes on the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus. So things like download mode and recovery mode, which are more proactive special boot modes that you're going to do whenever you want to actually do something like do a factory reset or apply an over-the-air update through ADB or the internal storage or even flash something with Odin. Today I want to show you a special boot mode that is more reactive and it's called safe mode. Now over time whenever we use our devices we install more and more games, more and more applications, we have more pictures, more movies. Eventually something, some of these things are going to interact poorly with each other and that can cause a whole number of issues including the phone overheating, the battery life being poor, or the device performance slowing down. So if you've ever noticed this, most likely it's because of one of the third-party applications you have installed. But again, Android is pretty complex, so it could be anything. It could actually be the latest update you installed from Samsung. So if you ever notice that your phone is overheating or slowing down or have poor performance, poor battery life, the best thing to do, the first troubleshooting step you should do is booting into safe mode. So we're going to do that by pressing and holding the power, bu power button to bring up the power menu. Then we're going to tap and hold on the power off option. You see that's going to bring up the safe mode option. So then we're just going to, going to, going to tap that. It's going to shut our device down and it will boot us back into Android, except this time we're going to be in safe mode. Now what safe mode is means that it will not allow any applications or services to run that are not first party and have been pre-installed on the device. So you can see we have a safe mode watermark right here that will always be there no matter what screen we're at to remind you that you're in safe mode. It's pretty important because there are a bunch of applications such as Samsung Pay, Google Play Music, Pushbullet, and more that just will not work because they are considered third-party applications and not considered first-party, not installed on the system partition. Now that's why this is such a good troubleshooting step because a lot of these additionally installed applications are what end up causing the poor performance, poor battery life, overheating, etc. So the goal is to boot into safe mode and then use the phone as much as you can like you would during the normal, it, the normal operating day. So for example, let's say that you had poor, poor battery life. So when you start the day in the morning when the device is fully charged, boot it up into safe mode and use the phone as much as you can like you normally would. Of course, you won't be able to use social media applications or any of that stuff but use it as much as you can so that you can compare the battery life difference with safe mode on safe mode off the same can be said if you are playing a mobile game or playing a video or even just placing a phone call and you feel the device heating up or having poor performance boot into safe mode and see if you can replicate those same issues. If you're able to replicate the same issues while you are in safe mode, then there, the issue lies within the Android operating system itself. That means that the latest update you installed has most likely messed something up. There was some kind of glitch or hiccup in the update or in the operating system and for that case you want to perform a factory reset. You could try to install the Samsung factory images with Odin if the factory reset does not work. More times than not though the factory reset will work to iron out any kind of issues like that. Now however if you notice that the battery life overheating poor performance issues are no longer present when you're in safe mode, 
then it is one of your third-party applications that is causing this issue. Now, sadly, Safe Mode can't exactly tell you which application it is. So from there, you're going to have to boot back out of Safe Mode, which I'll show you how to do in a minute, and then uninstall applications or test applications to see to find out which one it is. So you'll notice that a lot of these icons are going to be grayed out while you're in safe mode. Because again, they cannot be opened. Downloaded applications are disabled completely. They cannot open, they cannot run any services while you're in safe mode. And you'll get that reminder each time you try to open up one of them one of those applications. Again, I know it's hard to try to replicate the issue while you're in safe mode when a lot of the applications you'll use throughout the day are third party, but this is the best troubleshooting step to find out what is causing issues like overheating, poor performance, battery life, etc. So whenever you're done doing your testing and you want to get out of safe mode, we're just going to bring up the power menu again and then tap the restart button and then tap the reset option again. Just like before, this is gonna shut down our device. It's gonna boot back up. It's gonna boot us back up into Android, but since we did not instruct it to boot into safe mode again, it's going to boot back into regular Android with safe mode disabled so that our third-party applications will now work as usual.